But were we safe? No, we are at risk all the time. And 53 was actually our Sandy. And we had more of those storms, but this was the most recent one, where almost 2,000 people got killed. More than 2,000 when you take into account Belgium and the UK. A huge storm and tide and moon and everything came together. And it had a devastating power. And it made us realize again that the vulnerability of our country is something we can deal with. If we turn not our back against the water, but embrace it, both as an asset, as a risk. So our approach is layered. Yes, we invest in dams, dikes, levees, dunes, and anything that can protect us to make sure that we're safe and sound. At the same time, that's so much connected in the way we build our city, the way we organize our land, the way we add value to our landscapes and our urban uh, uh, issues. So the planning uh, of vital infrastructure, new development, as well as the rezoning and redevelopment of our cities should be in line with that risk and that added value. And of course, things can still go wrong. We also have a, 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 a higher amount of risk when it comes to climate change and the intensity of uh, rain and, and, and sea level rise, but also the water that's coming from the rivers and declining soil and, and salination. So the complexity of water is not managed alone by protection and planning. You also have to be ready. So this layered approach turned into a program for our Delta, we call the Delta program, with a man in charge, a Delta commissioner, Wim Kuyke, the, the man with the umbrella, that is by law installed a fund for the next 100 years, a program for the next 100 years, a law that uh, uses uh, uh, that Delta program to, to stay in place, so it's a little apolitical, 